All right, BookTube. It's winding down the book hunting season, and uh, I've had a couple of uh, scores lately that I picked up. So, without further ado, let's check some of the stuff out. This is going to be another paperbacks from hell edition because that's mostly what I've been finding that I'm actually excited about. I've not read Stephen King in quite some time, but I saw this at a bag sale and I threw it in there to fill up space. And yes, I am shelving them right there for the moment. This looked interesting. Um, I like the copy on the back. You know, Bigfoot werewolves. Hey, that's all right with me. And it is a tour horror, so therefore it got snatched up. This one was all about the cover. Ghost fire. Pardon me while I scratch my cheek. Anyway, uh, once again, cover, paperbacks from hell. It was listed as horror on the spine. And so I grabbed that one. Another big name. Now this is a great foil cover. And... It's listed as novel, but it's called Shadowland. And unfortunately, the back is a little bit damaged, but that's just the back. These are reader's copies. Um, my intention is to read these, not to collect them for sale or for later value. If they happen to have some value, great. If not, I'm okay with that. I read a Richard Lamont novel back when I was in college, and I found it pretty disturbing, which is odd because a lot of things did not disturb me. But... Saw this, and so I had to grab it. This one as well. No blood spelled. Tor horror. I know that that spine crack drives me nuts, but whatever. Coffin drifts into the Bay of Bengal. And there's a Robert Block quote. So I have a new setup in here, which is why my arm is in the way. These are not in any order. I'm not going to try and do that. It delivers from evil. That's a great cover. Love that church. Comes the wraith. So it turns out that... Oh, and somebody wrote their name on there, it looks like. Maybe. Or I don't know if that, that could be on there. Um, turns out I grabbed two books by this guy. And I should have had the other one lined up and ready to go. But of course, I'm not that... Here it is. Not that organized. Uh, I saw the cover of this and I was like, yeah, that's a horror novel. So when I go to book sales, especially library sales, and I look for this stuff, I look in science fiction, I look in mystery, I look in general fiction, because you never know when they're going to get, where they're going to get shelved. Let's see here, what's next? There's another great cover for you. I like it when they actually indicate that it is, in fact, horror novels. This one took me a minute to figure out the cover. Boy with penny eyes. There's a uh, there's an old traditional kind of uh, illusion for you. The pennies that you put on your eyes. So Sharon, the riverboat captain of the river Styx, will be able to be paid to take you across fire. Epic horror. And the tradition of the stand and swan song. Yeah, that's pretty thick. Um, Here's the back cover copy for anybody that wants to check that out. So Swan Song and The Stand are two of my favorites. And so I do want to read this. But this month I am committed to reading short stories and essays. Um, I've just got a whole lot of anthologies that I want to at least read something out of. All right. Real paperbacks from Hell Territory. This is John Coyne, who... I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, The Shroud, who of course is most famous for his book Hobgoblin, which is one of those Dungeons and Dragons scare novels. All right, so where do we want to go from here? How about this one? Carry on. That's a great cover. Look at that melting face. Fawcett. So Fawcett grew out of uh, Gold Medal, which was one of the great paperback original houses of the 50s, 60s, and into the 70s. Uh, a lot of great crime, science fiction, um, western, mystery, and horror authors first got published by Fawcett, which is largely banished. They feed, uh, it? They will feed your terror. Okay, so what I picked up today, <clears throat> the Breeding Ground. So I grabbed it, and I then I noticed it was, oh, the author of Slugs, which is a paperback from hell. Definitely. So I checked that out. 
So I'm kind of down to the uh, the real scores here. So let's go. And I know this is great video. I thank everybody that's been watching. Um, I appreciate everyone that watches. I, I hope that some people find this interesting. Uh, don't get my my mug out there too much. But okay, Graham Masterson, Night Wars, best-selling author of Manitou Blood. So found this. This is like a later leisure edition, and you can see that they have it under fiction. Uh, I love the. Uh, kind of battle axe imagery there. Um, yeah, so I want to check that out. Speaking of Graham Masterson and the Manitou, I found the Manitou. It's a great 70s looking edition. What year is this from? Oh, this is from 76. So it's in pretty good condition. Uh, pinnacle fiction. So I don't fault them for not putting horror because this is a 70s book when that wasn't something that sold. I will definitely be checking this out. I've heard a lot about it. So, and there's the inside cover of that. In Silence Sealed. I don't want to pronounce her last name because I'm sure I'm going to massacre it. But I saw this cover and I was like, where do I know that from? Where do I know that from? Uh, it's a little rough. Something kind of, it's got kind of a texture to it. Anyway, um, this is definitely from the paperbacks from hell. So I had to check that out. And then finally, what would a paperback from Hell Hall would be without a zebra paperback with a raised skeleton on it? This is uh, Callie from Sharon Combs. So anyway, that is the haul. There's a whole bunch of other stuff right here. A lot of mystery and crime stuff. Just quickly, Max Allen Collins and Mickey Spillane. If you've never read that, it's really great. Um, I don't even know what else I can show here. A little more. Yeah, I'm not going to get into the rest of this. One last one. Promised Land by Robert B. Parker. I love these old Spencers with this cover design. Those are great. Anyway, that's it. Mainly paperbacks from hell. Um, I'm not going to show all the stuff I'm finding anymore. I just don't feel like it's uh, necessary. Some of the stuff I'm finding is a lot of stuff that I'm looking to check out or pass on or for other people. So um, you don't need to watch these videos for 20 minutes. That just, uh, to me, that wouldn't be fun. So uh, let's do this, though. So all of you that know a little movie called Die Hard, this is Rainbow Drive written by Roderick Thorpe, who is the author of the book uh, Nothing Lasts Forever, which... Die Hard is based on. This is not a Die Hard, Die Hard sequel. This is the film version of it, which reads very much like an 80s James Elroy film made for Showtime. If you run across this at flea markets or whatever for a buck or two for VHS, check it out. So with that, I will catch you all next time. Thank you for watching.